Hey there, I'm Dana Shea Williams, speaker, marriage and relationship coach, and the podcast host of Rebuilding Us Marriage Podcast. In the work that I do, I get a chance to actually work with lots of couples who are rebuilding the trust and trying to reconcile their marriages after infidelity. In this video, I wanna share with you several ways that you can actually know if your spouse is having an affair based on their digital footprint. Unfortunately, most cheaters leave clues behind. So while I'm not encouraging you to go snooping around behind your spouse, I'm not encouraging you to become a PI, but I am encouraging you if you do have some discernment meters going off, if you do suspect that there might be infidelity in your marriage, that you don't ignore that. That needs to be confronted so that we can deal with the truth. So the first thing that I want to tell you is this little device right here. Most spouses, if they are involved in infidelity, are going to cherish this thing and take this thing wherever they go. They are not going to leave their phone out. They are not going to leave their phone unlocked. I believe that if you're married, you should have each other's passwords. Everything should be above board and there needs to be that level of accountability. If you once had your spouse's passwords and now they no longer give them to you or they've changed them and you can't get into their phone, that might be a telltale sign. The second thing that I want to tell you regarding the phone is obviously text messaging and phone calls. Now, back in the day, most cell phone providers would actually give you an, a whole list of all the text messages that you or whoever was attached to that phone number would send out or receive. Most companies don't do that anymore. However, if you start looking through your cell phone records and you notice that there's this number that just keeps popping up over and over and over through text messages or phone calls, especially late at night, night, that might be a telltale sign. The second area that I want to address is email and websites. Now, again, most spouses, if they're having an affair, they are going to try to cover their tracks. Most of them are probably going to delete their browser history, but some don't. So you can still look and see what websites were visited that day. Go back into the history of the sites. Now, if you notice that there's no history at all, I would bring that up if you have a shared computer or even on your spouse's personal computer, there's no history. Why is the history being deleted? You can also go into a browser and start to type the first couple of letters of a website that you might suspect your spouse has been on. For example, Tinder or Pornhub or OnlyFans, right? You can go on there and you can just start typing in those letters and see if anything pops up. If it pops up, you might have a problem. The third and final thing that I want to address is social media. So again, we're talking about digital signs that your spouse might be having an affair. If your spouse has been very active on social media and you start to notice some changes in their social media behavior, for example, they've changed their social media profile name. They've gone private on social media. They have inactivated you as a friend on social media. They have another social media account and they tell you, oh, that's for work or whatever it might be. Any sort of strange behavior that you notice from their social media accounts, those are all warning signs. So again, we're not going to accuse, we're not going to say that your spouse is indeed having an affair, but these are some things that you need to look out for so that, again, you can expose this to the light so that we can actually work on rebuilding the marriage. If you are in an affair or if you suspect that your spouse might be cheating on you, I want to encourage you to download my Infidelity Intensive course. You can find out more information about that course at danashay.com forward slash infidelity intensive. Let's work together to get your marriage back on track and rebuild the trust in your relationship. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.